What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Down South Off-Road and Outdoor. Today we're coming to you with a budget install because well I ran out of money. So I'm tired of looking at the factory radio. I had to look at something else and I can't afford the stinger. So today we're putting in the Boss Audio BVC P97009er. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so I couldn't afford the Stinger Off-Road, so this Boss BVC P9700A CFL, that's a lot of letters and numbers, um, was less than $300, comes with a reverse camera. I'm not going to be showing the full install, but I will show you what it looks like once we get it hooked up and going and give you my initial thoughts. So going along with the stereo. I have the radio replacement interface. This is going to allow us to keep the steering wheel controls. Um, I've got some speaker rings because I'm switching these over to these kicker 300 watt six and a half speakers. So guys, when you're going to hook this stuff up, everything is labeled very, very well. And then once you get to your wires here, you can see they're easy to read. I like it because I can tilt this screen instead of dealing with the glare. All right, guys, so to pop this uh, this dash out, you've got a few little, uh, what are they, seven millimeter? Mm -hmm. Or nine thirty seconds. Or nine thirty seconds, <laughs> seven millimeter or nine thirty second screws. Uh, you got one right there. You got to pop your vents out first, then pop out your center window. And then two screws and, uh, right here. Then two screws. screws on the side there. Each side of the collar. And it all comes off easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. I was about to say, you forgot a part. <laughs> so guys, this is a budget install. Um, just because I couldn't wait to save up money, I just wanted something now because I was tired of this factory system. So I'm pretty interested to, to let you know how it holds up and see if I'm really missing anything from that $1,200 Stinger system. Now, Stinger, if you see this and you want to show me the differences, <laughs> I will gladly take one of your sponsored head units. So one thing that's really cool about this kit is it actually comes with a separate rear view camera uh, that you mount above your tag. So that's kind of cool. Work, yeah. Figured you guys would want to watch Mike try to finagle this thing in. Just sticking it up here to see. Yeah, see those hit right there. It's got some other pieces like you'll cut these off and put those side pieces on for different types of cars. Oh, gotcha. If yeah. you're changing your front speakers of the Jeep, this is what they look like. They're in their own little boxy enclosure and uh, look they're a pain beast. in the ass to get off. Look at those. Those beast. are beasts. Look at that magnet beast. size, guys. Look at that magnet size. These are a glorified a tweeter. That thing's light enough. I, I think I've had cherries and drinks in here tonight. Oh, my God. No <laughs> wonder they snap, crackle, and pop. So I'm replacing it with the Kicker 300-watt Max. I'm not sure they'll be much better. No, yeah, but, uh, but I'm sure that they have to be better than this. As long as we don't drop them off. As long as you don't drop them on that bike. So let's compare. Now these ain't gonna be a lot different. They probably got some kind of neo magnet too. Uh, no, it's a, it's definitely a larger magnet. Alright. Do we so want to put a hole in the dash? So old and busted? Speaker? No. We do sure? not. No. Old and busted, new hotness. And those are plastic cones too, so. You know, when you're out wheeling. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at that rear magnet. So, yeah, quite a bit different. So, when you're ordering, guys, I always do my ordering from Crutchfield because they will tell you every single piece that you need for the vehicle that you have. Yeah, you're actually putting small speakers in. So, believe it or not, we're putting smaller speakers in. These little tabs are keeping those bolts from lining up. Gotcha. Where it mounts, so instead of butchering up this piece, I thought we just trim those off. Take this top one off right here. Gotcha. The new kickers are going to look a lot, well, you're not going to see them, but they look a lot cooler in there. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like in the Jeep. 
Um, you'll see from the side here how that mounts and you can actually turn that and tilt it how you want. So I'm gonna kind of tilt it like that. You do have a little pocket under here. So I don't know that I'll put anything in there, but it is there. Uh, the only issue that I've seen is that my phone was normally right here. So that's gonna hit, but I'll just look for a different, uh, different design there. So let's flip it on and watch it power up. Oh, I guess I could do this. All right, guys, it's gonna be super satisfying. Oh, it was so good. No device found. Let's, let's try home. All right, so we've got CarPlay, we've got camera. I didn't hook the camera up, guys, um, because if you'll look right above it, I also hooked this up. So I didn't feel like running another camera wire for no reason. So that's what the screen looks like. We'll go through setting it up shortly. All right, guys, pairing the phone was super, super easy. Um, I mean, it took three seconds, um, so you can see it's playing my Howard Stern, but everything else about this seems very, very basic. Um, I do have two plugs here, one for Android Auto and one for, um, for CarPlay. Actually, one is for USB charging and one is for CarPlay, so it does give you an extra charger, um, if you want it that. It did come with a Bluetooth mic so it's here so honestly guys if this thing is loud i'm going to give you some updates before i publish this video i'm going to film some more updates if this thing is loud and carplay works well um for the price you cannot beat this it feels like a quality piece of equipment it doesn't feel lightweight and cheap um, this thing is very very tight so you would only be able to move it if you really want to I do like the way it looks in here. So overall, so far, very pleased. So here is the Boss Radio at night. Um, just looks very, very good in here. Honestly, I think the seven inch size is pretty perfect for the Jeep um, because it's just, it's not too much. Me and Kim were talking and she thinks that if I had went with a nine inch that it might have been too big. And for some of the off-road stuff we do, um, it could have really hindered how we move. But very happy with it. The button feel is very, very nice. It's nice and tactile. I love having a knob still for volume. And Bluetooth hookup was great. CarPlay has been great. Honestly, I can't believe this stereo sells for what it does. But hey, take it while you can get it. I am going to hook this thing up to CarPlay. I've got my, my phone here. I'm just going to hook CarPlay to it, just like that. So now CarPlay is in. Probably should turn my music off. All right. So now CarPlay is on. So what does that mean I can do? It means I can hit the home button and... Now, I have my phone on my stereo. So it's super neat because you can check your text messages, you can get into your Apple Music. Um, what I really love is, say I do start um, my Pandora. So I start my Pandora on, it's on, but I also wanna open up Waze. So now I can go down here and I can split the screen so that I see my Pandora and I see Waze. So it's just pretty neat there. Super easy to work. This stereo is on sale for I think $205 on Amazon right now. Now I will say that I didn't hook up the camera because I have a, a rear view camera already. So I didn't hook the camera up that comes with the unit. So I can't tell you how that is. But honestly, at this point, that camera is just a freebie because this stereo is well worth $200. Um, it is super easy to work. 
super easy to control. I love that it still has a turning knob. Um, if you get all of the components that I leave in the description, you'll also have your um, steering wheel controls to where I can switch. So, and you can turn up your volume from your steering wheel. So um, if you do get that, um, it will make things a lot easier. So if you look in the description of the video, I'll leave all of the little components that I bought. And uh, guys, this thing is where it's at. I'm not spending $1,000 for a Stinger. I'm not spending $2,000 for an Alpine. Um, I'm not hating on those. They're phenomenal products that do a lot of things. But honestly, this does every single thing that I need it to. It was 200 bucks. I can pop it out and take it with me. And more importantly, I can tilt this screen depending on the sun because that's something a lot of those don't do. So is this worth it? 100%. Absolutely would buy again. Super stoked that I got the seven inch size. They make a nine inch and a 10 inch screen, but I think that would be too much for the Jeep. And you can see how close my phone already sits to it with my 67 designs holder. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell, and we'll see you next time.